Planet Dolan. From tasty meats to dirty laundry, we look at 10 of the weirdest things you can get from a vending machine. Hey there, I'm Hellbent. I'm here to learn you suspiciously amazing facts that I didn't just make up. Number 10. If you only thought cheap things came out of vending machines, then I have some shocking news for you. If you take a trip to Germany, then you're sure to run into these Lego dispensers and then instantly wonder why the hell you don't have them in your own country. Weird thing is, they only put them around train stations in Germany. Maybe it's to keep kids away from the deadly train tracks. Lego, now saving your child's life. Well, you know, if your kid can afford them anyways. You poor kids, go play on the train tracks. Have a good time. Number 9. Of all the things Aussies could have put into a vending machine, they decided that french fries would be the best option. These miracles of technology have been seen in Australia since 1982, but were brought back to the internet's eye when the hot chip company created a new super robotic version. The new version will fry up chips in about two minutes, which is actually double the time it took its 1980s counterpart. Now all they gotta do is figure out how to make a machine that can fry a potato in 10 seconds without it blowing up. Then we'll reach the pinnacle of potato technology. Number 8. Now, if you can get deep fried potatoes from a robot, then smashed up potatoes shouldn't be that hard to imagine. This mashed potato dispenser found in a Singaporean 7-Eleven will give you a starchy serving of mash and gravy for a buck. I can only guess that the slushy machine ran out of syrup and they thought, hey, screw it, let's just toss a potato and some gravy in there. The kids will love it. Nothing like a warm or refreshing glass of potatoes. You know, I'm knocking it, but a cup of potatoes does sound kind of good right now. Number 7. Are you tired of digging in the dirt every single time you need to pay someone in pure gold? Then this is the vending machine for you, um, old timey prospectors, I guess. This gold ATM will take your money and make it into sweet, sweet gold. Placed in locations like New York and Dubai, this vending machine is for people who frequently find themselves in a gold rush. Ugh, the awful advertising practically writes itself. Number 6. I predict a future where fantastic automotons will distribute all of your drug needs in a handy one-stop shop. And places like Canada and Colorado are one step there already with medical marijuana vending machines. But before you start planning your trip, you still need a prescription to access the machine in most places. But hey, in 20 years, they'll probably just deliver it right to your house, and people will just laugh at the days that you had to go to a vending machine to buy pot. Hell, they'll probably have a tiny little drone that flies right through your window, holds a tiny pipe right up to your mouth, and lights it up. Not even the Jetsons could imagine such a bright future. Number 5. Now on to something much less taboo but far more addictive than any illicit drug. Of course, I'm talking about delicious barbecue meats that you can get from a vending machine while walking home drunk at 3 a.m. if you live in Japan. Curran, who are normally known for their beer, are responsible for this glorious invention. While it may be lost among the millions of other vending machines in the land of the rising sun, I'd definitely be hunting this one down. Number 4. For those aristocrats out there who want to slum it for a bit, there's this ridiculous machine. Forget dealing with the snooty waiters of five-star restaurants. You can get your high-quality caviar from a snooty machine instead. Populating upper-class areas of LA, these things apparently exist. Oh my, I really want my high-quality fish eggs, but I don't want to have to look at a poor person serve them to me. Replace the poor people with robots, thank you. That's what people in LA sound like. Number 3. China, in a move to swipe the crown of what the fuck vending machines away from Japan, has this offering. If you're walking around the streets of Nanjing, you can find a helpful little machine that will fulfill all of your live crab related needs. The machine keeps the crabs in a constant state of hibernation through temperature control. The company banks on this feature so much that if you do receive a dead crab, they will reimburse you with three whole live crabs. I really don't have any words for this one. It's crazier than the caviar machine. Number two. This may not be the strangest thing, but it's certainly the most puzzling. This insanely expensive Japanese machine grows 60 heads of fresh lettuce each day for passerbys to purchase. The machine called the Chef's Farm was supposedly implemented to encourage people to eat their veggies. Evidently, convenience is a reason people are missing out on nutrition. Nothing to do with the fact that it's sitting next to the barbecue machine, no. The whole thing is just confusing. Why only lettuce? Is it just that much easier to grow? Why not something more interesting like square tomatoes? 
Come on, Japan, you're really gonna have to blow people's minds to get them to eat vegetables. Number one, perverts rejoice. This innovative machine lets you purchase filthy panties without being judged. I know, I know, you've probably heard of this one already. But even after all these years, this is still the king of crazy vending machines. It would be a miscarriage of justice to rob this of the number one spot. There is some debate over how used these panties are, but beggars can't be choosers. If people had better sources for these unique items, the machines wouldn't exist. Not quite sure where the demand for dirty panties comes from, but if it makes people happy and stops them from breaking into homes to satisfy their panty fetish, then it's alright. At least I can't think of any way this would harm people, unless you thought they were new panties and put them on, that'd be kinda disappointing. But hey, more power to them. If I could make a living doing it, I'd sell my washing machine and stink out a crate of panties every day. I don't know, then again, I am on this show. Maybe we could put them on the Planet Dolan shop. Who wants to buy Hellbent's panties? That's it for this countdown. If you can make a vending machine dispense any item, what would it be? Let us know in the comments and I'll see you next time. It takes a virile man to make a chicken pregnant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not what they wanted to say, unless Purdue actually cracked the secret to human avian breeding and have actually been creating a secret army of virile chicken man. This lone heroic translator is trying to warn us all. Oh god, they're gonna peck our eyes out.